I'm Dr. Ted Schwartz. I specialize in the treatment of brain tumors and pituitary tumors and uh, epilepsy. One of the techniques that we've been really interested in pursuing here is minimally invasive endoscopic surgery on patients who have tumors in the pituitary glands and other tumors that are at the base of the skull. There's a tumor below the optic nerve and this is the normal pituitary gland. So there's the optic nerve and if you go look just below it, you'll see a tumor there. We can now take these tumors out without making any incisions in the face, without opening up the skull at all. We really go through the nostrils, we use the natural openings of the face and a long endoscope, just like a telescope, to visualize where we're going. So we're opening up above and below the pituitary gland. This is all through the nose. The endoscopes allows us to be very, very careful about not damaging anything. We see patients who uh, have gone to see other neurosurgeons who will say, well, that can't be taken out. And they come to see me and I say, you know what, we can do this through your nose. There was a patient recently from Costa Rica who went around the country asking for opinions and multiple surgeons said that couldn't be done through the nose. He actually had one who tried it, was not able to do it. And we were able to do the surgery uh, through his nose and get him out of the hospital in two or three days and, and he's done fantastically well. One of my other interests is in epilepsy surgery, and epilepsy is really a disease of brain function. Patients who have epilepsy often have it coming from parts of the brain that are important for their language abilities, important for their memory. People don't know it, but surgery is actually a cure for epilepsy. People think of epilepsy as a disease that you, when you have it, you have it forever. But if you can localize exactly where that epilepsy is coming from, it's possible to remove that part of the brain and actually cure someone of their epilepsy. So one of my research interests is in better ways of mapping the brain and better ways of localizing epilepsy using not just electrical recordings, which is how we've done it for the past 50, 70 years, but using optical recordings. So we can actually make movies, videos of the surface of the brain and you can actually see where the epilepsy starts and where it spreads based on changes in reflection of light as the seizure occurs. This is our approach up the nose. One of the advantages at being uh, at a hospital like New York Presbyterian Hospital is that not only are the neurosurgeons great, but you know the neuroradiologists are great and the facilities that they have are state of the art. We're really the first center in the world to do uh, endoscopic surgery with a 3D scope. Most minimally invasive endoscopic surgery involves a 2D scope, meaning that you look at it on a computer screen and it's flat, just like watching TV. But we have a 3D endoscope and we wear you know, those dark glasses in the operating room so we can see in three dimensions. Because of our extensive experience, we have been able to publish the first textbook on minimally invasive endoscopic surgery. And we're currently working on our second textbook, which will be practical endoscopic pituitary surgery. One of the focuses of my practice is not just on the technical aspects of neurosurgery, but it's also on the patient. Patients come to the office to see me uh, with it's very serious, significant problems. The concept of having brain surgery is daunting to most people, and they need to trust that their neurosurgeon is not trying to do what's the cool, latest thing to do, but is doing the right thing for the patient. So we really try to bring a patient through this terrifying experience of having brain surgery and calm them and let them know that we're going to get them through this, we're going to do it together. And that's really important to us. If I were a patient and I was going to have neurosurgery, this is the place I'd want to be.